Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Troy. It's Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about whether or not Bitcoin is, in fact, the new and improved number one inflation hedge slash chaos hedge. All right, so as many of you are aware, Bitcoin has been outperforming most asset classes across the financial markets lately. And there's a very good case for this to be made given the current macroeconomic backdrop. All right, so to kick off the video, we will be reading through a very good article by Cointelegraph that I definitely recommend you guys check out in its entirety after watching this video, of course, titled, Is Bitcoin a Hedge Against Inflation? Short and sweet, right? Okay, so we will be kicking it off of course by touching on what is inflation okay if you want to know what the best inflation hedge is it's probably good you know what inflation is okay so we'll quickly touch on what is inflation after that we will touch on gold a bit the reason for that being if you want to know if something is the new number one you have to have an idea of what the old number one was and gold is that old number one inflation hedge slash chaos hedge so we'll quickly touch on gold we'll take a look at gold versus the s p over the course of 2022 so far and uh yeah again if you want to know what's the new you got to understand the old okay so we'll touch on gold and then of course last but not least we will touch on bitcoin go over a few key points that the author uh that the author covered here talking about limited supply decentralization and uh the two primary points in uh once again the author's opinion that uh round out bitcoin as potentially the best inflation hedge slash chaos hedge once again okay i'll tie in chaos hedge a little bit over the course of this video all right so uh that is the fundamental grounding after we cover all of this good stuff after we cover all the re cover all of the reading and uh once again cover our fundamental bases we will then dive into the charts i'll give you guys my real quick tech uh technical breakdown on bitcoin how i see price action playing out over the remainder of the month of april and going into the month of may so keeping it um somewhat short uh even going into medium term a little bit just want to let you guys know a few key levels that i'm eyeballing with bitcoin with the king going into the month of may um but that will not be the entirety of the video because in the case that there is a black swan event and somehow gold starts to outperform bitcoin once again you're gonna want to know how to play that trend so at the very end of the video we will be diving into a spawn Sponsored review of our friends over at York Harbor Metals or US OTC ticker symbol YORKF. Uh, I will link their website and uh, their ticker symbol down in the description box below for you guys to go check out after this because, as always, I encourage you to do your own research on these, especially for sponsored reviews. But we do appreciate our sponsors, you guys. York Harbor Metals is a very interesting way to play precious metals in the case that you are interested in that. And uh, yeah, we appreciate them and appreciate it if you stick around for that. So we'll take a quick look at their website, go over their good old investor presentation, take a look at their team, and uh, we'll call it a day there. Okay, you guys, so let's talk some price action at the very end of the video, or I guess not the very end, but after we cover the fundamental, uh, the fundamental grounding first. Okay, so what is inflation? Again, you want to know what inflation hedges are best. You got to know what inflation is. Okay, so inflation refers to rising prices of goods and services, leading to a decline in purchasing power of the local currency. As a result, more units of a currency are needed to purchase a certain item. For instance, a fruit basket might have been priced at $5 a few years before. Now, the same basket carries a price tag of $8, indicating a drop of in purchasing power. So you look here, inflation chart displaying price right at the price rise of a few items between 1960 and 2021 so postage i mean that's super old who even uses post stamps postage stamps anymore but gallon of milk great example 95 cents sub a dollar now it's at 360 levi's five oh imagine copping a pair of levi's jeans for five dollars that'd be sick lamborghini 350 gt five thousand five hundred dollars now sitting at seven hundred thousand dollars six pack of bud 99 cents now sitting just below seven dollars okay so we all feel this, especially right now with gasoline prices just freaking skyrocketing through the roof. We all feel this, right? We all know, uh, even if you don't know how to define inflation properly, hopefully if you're watching this video and you've watched the channel, you absolutely can define inflation properly. But uh, even if you can't define it for, for the layman, for most uh, American citizens, unfortunately, even if you don't know how to define it, you can definitely feel it, okay? Your wallet feels it, and that's, um, that is the primary, I mean, that's the primary fundamental argument for holding inflation hedges in your portfolio. Again, gold 
not doing so well right now although gold has been outperforming the s p over the course of this year and acting as the chaos edge because we have the russia ukraine war which it's crazy how that's on the, just on the back burner now, but that's just, I mean, that's 2022. You got to just keep the news coming, right? That's the headlines. Anyway, gold has proven to be a chaos hedge right now. Gold isn't looking too hot. I mean, gold's really not looking hot over the past couple of days. Gold or silver, unfortunately, uh, really just fell off of a cliff over the past couple of days, which does speak to just kind of the erratic nature of this current macro environment. But again, that's why you, you always got to be adapting. You always got to be moving forward and that you always have to be looking for the next best thing which in my opinion right now is obviously bitcoin right now just uh, i mean when i conceived making this video bitcoin was in a much better place than even it is right now i mean you can see here bitcoin was at forty three thousand dollars less than 24 hours ago and now it's uh, just sitting above 44 uh 40 000. so even bitcoin right now in the wake of gold falling the equity markets falling s p nasdaq falling bitcoin is finally following suit but when you're talking about performance over the past few weeks, over the course, over the past month, Bitcoin has been outperforming most uh, financial assets, and uh, it is. I mean, Bitcoin is in fact the like really right now what most investors globally and again that's the beauty of bitcoin is it's, it's borderless uh most investors are viewing bitcoin as that safe haven asset to protect uh their capital and uh, their wealth okay so that said let's talk about gold a little bit again if you guys do want to play gold stick around for the york harbor uh review but during past inflationary periods gold has a mixed track record in the 80s there were times when holding and gold gave negative returns to owners morningstar data gives a peek how gold has been has had a spotty track record during past inflationary periods again that's kind of why you have to integrate you is it just is this period just inflationary or is there some semblance of chaos afoot too okay so you have to find the equation you have to find that balance between just an inflation hedge um and a chaos hedge okay you have to find the balance between those two okay so a commodity that is supposed to hedge against inflation is expected to rise when consumer prices are going up during periods of high inflation particularly in the 80s there were times when gold owners ended up facing negative returns in recent times gold has slowly lost its luster as a hedge during the pandemic and even when it uh, when waves had subsided People are showing less interest in gold. It's still viewed as good enough for holding value in the long term, but for the short term, the metal is seen as less reliable now. Okay, so that's a good point there. And again, that's a good point to make uh, in argument for gold. Gold, as far as the long term is concerned, because gold has proven itself for millennia, it's been used for so damn long. Um, it is a little more archaic. It is, I mean, it is the past. But uh, it's likely to at least maintain value for the most part, as opposed to the dollar, definitely. So relative to the dollar, the gold, gold is definitely a better long term uh, investment. But when it comes to actually deploying your capital and wanting to make have your money make you money, Bitcoin is the very obvious choice. OK, so is Bitcoin a good inflation hedge? The answer is obviously yes. Let's talk about why. When looking into the queer uh, into the query can bitcoin prevent inflation two major factors you need to consider are limited supply and decentralization limited supply bringing scarcity the supply of bitcoin has been algorithmically capped 21 million coins by the end of 2021 18.77 m btc have already come into circulation in other words 83 percent of bitcoin that could come into existence had been mined within 12 years of inception of the cryptocurrency preset limits on bitcoin in circulation mean no excess supply keeping inflation in check moreover the digital coins annual rate of mining dips by 50% roughly every four years, the good old Bitcoin having. That is what, if you guys remember, if you guys have been following the Waves channel, uh, if you've been part of the Waves fam, I should say, since uh, since we began in early 2020, that was always my obvious, uh, I mean, mine and many others argument for the fact that a bull run was to come, which it did obviously later that year. May 2020 was the having, the last having. The next one is coming in 2024. Okay, it's like the Olympics. Lastly, decentralization, simple, powering resilience. The decentralized structure of Bitcoin takes it out of the control of a centralized authority. Now, plays like gold, obviously gold is, is very similar in, the, in that sense, but uh, Bitcoin, again, so there's Satoshi, but no one knows who that is there. Bitcoin is a community. Bitcoin is a network. Bitcoin is a hive mind, all right? Bitcoin is the, actually probably the definition of a hive mind, which makes it beautiful, okay? It does make it a little, uh, there, there are obviously negatives to hive mind and hive mentality, but we won't talk about those now from an objective perspective. Bitcoin is an amazing, uh, is an amazing inflation hedge primarily due to the fact that it is once again, algorithmically capped. That's by far the number one argument. Okay. So I'd say Bitcoin, great inflation hedge to take a look at Bitcoin on the charts and then move into once again, the York Harbor spa, spa kind of review, I guess, sponsored review. Anyway, Bitcoin. 
is currently in a, I mean, this is a very, very simple pattern, right? Bitcoin is, is in a very, very obvious ascending channel. Okay, ascending channel, obviously top line of resistance, bottom line of support here, series of higher highs and higher lows. Granted, these are very, I mean, these are, uh, these are, this is volatility. We're seeing a lot of volatility. Like, I mean, you can see here the price range. Wait, let's get that price range. Sorry, right here from this bottom that we saw uh, just over a month ago to the top. I mean, you're seeing a 30% move up and then the same thing on the way down, right? So we're pretty, we're, this almost is equally as much of just a ranging channel of range trading as it is an ascending channel but still there is a subtle series of higher highs and higher lows and right now considering we are just above support it is pretty likely that we are going to make i mean you'd think right that we're going to make our way up to test the top line of resistance but given the fact that i'm currently bearish on the s p i'm bearish on the equity markets i'm bearish on the nasdaq i'm bearish on tech sectors uh i unfortunately think and obviously people are running out of money my my base argument the base argument for my bearish sentiment around so many things right now is the fact that investors and just individuals everywhere are getting smoked by by bunk markets by inflation by rising prices by rising consumer prices and you're just running out of money there's less stimmy there's less helicopter money there's less unemployment checks there's less money when there's less money you have less investment capital okay for that reason it seems more likely than not that bitcoin and again equity the equity markets do face downside in the short term um i do think it's possible once again given all of the arguments we just made and the fact that inflation is very very present uh it is possible and it is not unlikely because again, we're in an ascending channel and we're on supports that we start to make uh, another run up for the line of resistance on the ascending channel so that is scenario one scenario two as we close out the month of april is going to be uh, a break which we're pretty damn close again could go up could go down if we go down even a little bit it's very likely we break the line of support here if we fall below Bitcoin's previous low over here, which I will count as about $38,000. If Bitcoin falls below $38,000, I flip very bullish on the short term. And I think uh, with a 20% move up, will come a 20% move down in the case that 38 is broken. So we are on our way to $50,000 or $30,000. Which of those two is going to happen? I'm not even going to dare to make a confident guess uh, on that. But as always, you guys go check out the charts for yourself. Keep an eye on these levels. Uh, again, 38k is a big one if we break that bearish uh if we can make start making our way up if we clear forty three thousand dollars i think uh fifty thousand dollars could be very very possible okay so that is bitcoin you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about bitcoin in the short term uh obviously i know if you're watching this you're bullish on bitcoin long term so let me know if you think i missed any uh inflation hedge chaos hedge points here uh if you have anything to add to this video really appreciate the insights and uh again let me know what you're thinking about price in the short term because that's always fun that said let's hop into the sponsor review of York Harbor Metals. Once again, US OTC over the counter ticker symbol of YORKF. York Harbor Metals Inc. is an exploration and development company focused on the New York Harbor Copper Zinc Silver Project, a past producing mine located approximately 27 kilometers from Corner Brook, Newfoundland. Newfoundland. The company plans to continue drilling the 11 known mineralized zones and test other new massive sulfide targets, like the number four brook showing, while focusing on gaining access to the level, four, uh, level 400 level and C level uh at it okay so size of the property right there you guys can just take a look at all this capital structure quickly go down uh, again you guys as always i recommend you guys go check this company out go check out the website for yourself check out the investor presentation after this we're just going to go through uh go over a few key points that i feel are uh, worth sharing with you guys in this short amount of time but if you guys are interested and if you guys are thinking about investing all of the proper links to do so to do more due diligence will be in the description box down below once again okay so recent news always something to check out won't be doing that now but what i do always like looking at is the team and the competency competency of the team never just bet on the horse you guys you got to bet on the jockey never just bet on the car you got to bet on the driver or drivers in this case so executive chairman bruce durham bruce holds a bsc geology from university of western ontario mr D uh, durham has more than 40 years of work in the junior resource industry including mandates in corporate management product development and exploration project management ceo and director mr andrew lee andrew 
has also been involved in the junior mining industry for the past 15 years. Chief Financial Officer Sean Choi. Sean has over 15 years of experience in public accounting and mining industry. Corporate Team Director Roger Baer. Mr. Roger Baer, CPA, CMA, has over 30 years of progressive accounting and financial management experience, gained mostly with large and mid-sized multinational mining companies, including Newmont, Rio Tinto, Oscar Gold, Thompson Creek Middles, Excelsior, and Cypress Amax. Director Leo Power. It's a sick name. Mr. Power has demonstrated leadership with the, within the mining sector and understands the complexities of the resource and metals markets. Okay, about the company, we just read that, you guys. Again, as you go over, if you do more due diligence, go check out the investor presentation. Go check out their website. I will link those below. But again, always like looking at the team, always like looking at the cumulative time in the industry within the team and uh, this team as far as cumulative uh, cumulative years go has spent a lot of time in this industry and uh, just based on that you guys they know more a lot a lot more than I do and I I trust their ability to execute more than mine um, so go check them out if you agree if you think that this is a cool investment once again to play precious metals in the case that we do see a flipping from Bitcoin back to gold as the ultimate inflation hedge safe haven whatever uh, you can go check them out again those ticker symbols will be down below the website link will be down below as well and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I will catch you guys next time until then always remember take action make waves peace